Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you the latest game from classtools.net. It's called Connect Fours. And it's a fun way to get kids to review uh, content. So let's go ahead and play a sample game and see how it works. So the idea here is I'll select apples, pears, oranges, and bananas. Hey, they all match up in the same category. And I'm going to do John, Ringo, George, Paul, and they all match up. And Scotland, Wales, Ireland, England. And now you might ask your students if you're projecting this on your LCD projector in your classroom, you might say, okay, what are the connections between these items? And you can say, oh, those are the Beatles. Hey, you're correct, you get a point. Or fruits, you get a point. Countries, colors. Now let's go ahead and make our own version of the same game. I'm here at Connect Fours. You can find it at classtools.net forward slash connect. Let's create a new game. We'll call this one American Sports Teams. And I'll set up my game like so. I'm going to start with Patriots, Jets. Dolphins, Seahawks, and now this last part is the category that connects all four of those teams, and I'll say football. And I'll repeat that process three more times for other items that are going to go on my Connect Fours board. Alright, so I've completed my set of terms. Now let's go ahead and hit Submit. And let's create a password so we can go back and edit our quiz later. For now, I'll just use this simple password and click OK. And now my game is going to be assigned its own unique URL. So make sure you copy that down when you get it. That's the one that's only good for this game, by the way. And let's go ahead and start the game. And now we can play. I might say Bruins, Rangers, Oilers, Islanders, and there we go. I put my first category together. Now, if I wanted to go back and edit this, I just highlight the URL. That takes me back to the start screen. And down below, you can see there's the edit this game option. And editing the game would allow you to go back in and reuse the same URL with some different terms on the same game. So if you didn't want to give your kids a whole bunch of different URLs, you just go back in and edit the content of the game from time to time. The other option here is we can share this. So we have a bunch of ways that we can share it. We can get a QR code and have kids scan a QR code with their mobile devices. Or we can grab the embed code and go ahead and put that game directly into your classroom blog or classroom website. So that's Connect Fours from classtools.net. It's a free game and a free way to create a nice little review activity for your kids. For more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.